اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم my dear brothers elders i welcome you with the islamic greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may peace blessings and mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of us may I request the brothers performing the juma to come in the first salah and brothers who, has, who have already prayed if they want to pray the involuntary prayer they can move at the back side jazakallah khair my dear brothers in the previous khutba of the juma we discussed about who is a person or who is a being a human an acknowledger of allah subhanahu wa taala who becomes a muttaqi a person who leaves all kinds of sin and strives towards allah subhanahu wa taala towards the path of allah subhanahu wa taala and we discussed five promises of allah subhanahu wa taala for a person who becomes a wali of allah subhanahu wa taala who becomes a muttaqi who strives in the path of allah subhanahu wa taala and one of the promises was that the sins of such a person is forgiven the reward of such a person is multiplied and allah subhanahu wa taala makes ways for him whenever he is in problems or difficulties and allah subhanahu wa taala puts barka in the matters in his risk and increases it and allah subhanahu wa taala grants him far sightedness and my dear brothers imam ghazali rahimahullah has remarked the three ways to become a person who is muttaqi a person who is wali of allah subhanahu wa taala who can attain closeness of allah subhanahu wa taala who can maintain a relationship with allah subhanahu wa taala who, who has a taalluq with allah subhanahu wa taala so that that taalluq enables him to seek the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala my dear brothers this sharia is not only a set of rules that we need to follow or we need to comply yes sharia compliance is utmost important and it is a important thing that we need to have but my dear brothers sharia is more than just a set of rules it is more than just some kind of guidance that we need to follow what it is in actual is the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala that we need to seek it is in actual the pleasure in the obedience of allah subhanahu wa taala the sweetness of iman is the sweetness of the amal that we follow that we do if we are following and if we are doing an amal and we are getting a pleasure out of it subhanallah this will enable us to do more and more and strive towards allah subhanahu wa taala more and a muttaqi person he dislikes to have the disobedience of allah subhanahu wa taala to have to see the wrath of allah subhanahu wa taala it's just not only a matter of the worldly pleasure that he is getting from the doing of haram or doing of an illicit thing which is not allowed by allah subhanahu wa taala but actually he thinks of it as an act of rebellion he thinks of it as an act of betrayal to allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala is is the khaliq and malik allah subhanahu wa taala created all of us and this thing when we ponder upon it and when we talk about thanks giving to allah subhanahu wa taala being thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala we should start from thinking that we were nothing i was nothing and allah subhanahu wa taala willed me to be and in this world for a finite period of time for a very very limited period of time and allah subhanahu wa taala willed me for a infinite times which is this akhirah and then allah subhanahu wa taala gave me this health this wealth these blessings of allah subhanahu wa taala that are <coughs> infinite even they cannot be counted for a finite period in this world but then allah subhanahu wa taala chooses us to be among the ummah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam guaranteeing us that we will have these blessings which will be infinite in the akhirah this is from where we need to start our mental approach of thanking allah subhanahu wa taala that we were adam we were created from nothing and allah subhanahu wa taala gave us relations gave us friends gave us families gave us health gave us wealth gave us businesses in this world to survive for a limited period of time and then he willed that we will be having all these things in akhirah infinitely to the tremendous amount of allah subhanahu wa taala's mercy so this is when this type of thinking becomes our eternal part of our inner self then the person starts seeking pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala he starts witnessing the sweetness of iman from the amal and this amal will give give the sweetness if they are in accordance with the sharia and if they are in accordance with the sunnah of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how many times 
आर वी विश फुल ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज वी डो नॉट थिंक अबाउट द रिसोर्सेज आई ओपन अ टैप एंड डज नॉट थिंक अबाउट द वाटर फ्लोइंग एंड आई एम मेकिंग गुदू दीज रिसोर्सेज आई विल बी अकाउंटेड फॉर The Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam instructed us to be mindful of these resources, even if we, if, if I am doing a wudu by a stream. We just open the wudu tap and then forget about the resources. Let the resources be wasteful, my dear brother. This is not the way. We open and we close. It's easy. So similarly, if we do the wudu properly, great benefits and virtues of it is, has been mentioned in the uh, in the Sahih Hadith. that a person who does his wudu properly and who performs his salah pro- sala properly his sins will be wiped off he will get the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala he will witness the sweetness of iman and why do not we witness this sweetness of iman why are we not able to witness this pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala from these amal because sometimes there is some lacking in our amal which we need to maintain to get the pleasure to make our salah to make our wudu to make our sadqa to make our hajj to make our zakat to make our fasting more pleasurable there needs to be some effort where we need to learn what are the virtues of these amal when we get to know the virtues of these amal and learn from the people how to do from the people who are learned how to do these amal properly how to do these amal according to the sunnah then and only we will witness the sweetness of iman Imagine while I am making wudu today, when I made wudu for this Friday, imagine myself what will be the state of my salah of Friday prayer when in my mind I would be thinking that when I was making the wudu or when I was doing the ghusl, I was thinking that my sins were being wiped off. And when I stand in front of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, I make it a point that this might be my last salah. This might be my last day. This might be my last amal. so this mental state will increase you in your pleasure increase you in your obedience to allah subhanahu wa taala these things will grant you the sweetness of iman so this is actually a mental preparation that we do before coming to salah to gain the sweetness of iman which is very very important and a believer when he thinks like that and when he reflects upon the blessings of allah when he thinks that he was nothing and allah subhanahu wa taala willed him to be in this world for a finite period with finite number of blessings then and only his things and his mental state would change he will get get the ecstasy he will get the obedience the bliss the contentment of iman and that my dear brothers when he will think about the short pleasures that he will gain out of this world he will have this mentality that this pleasure this will remain in this world and it will finish your sin that you commit it will finish but the sin will remain and similarly the good deed that you do the mushaqqat the hardship that you undergo to do a good deed that will finish but your good deed will remain and you will be rewarded by allah subhanahu wa taala for that good deed so thinking of our good deeds as a piece of submission as a piece of something to respond to allah subhanahu wa taala to thank allah subhanahu wa taala and our disobediences and our sins as an act of betrayal as an act of rebellion to allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala a god who provided us every relation family things that we even cannot account for allah subhanahu wa taala we are being rebellious to such such entity who has given us so much who has provided us everything in this world to survive there are so many people who have this imagination who wants to, who have this wishful thinking of the life that we are living over here we need to be thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala but that thankfulness needs to increase us in our obedience and similarly decrease our disobedience is in the side of allah subhanahu wa taala remove us from the worldly pleasures and bring us towards godly pleasures of the good deeds and the good amal my dear brothers we need to think that this eternal love this eternal beneficent of allah subhanahu wa taala will remain with us and this world is a short period and there are some forces which stops us from being obedient to allah subhanahu wa taala number one as i mentioned the ignorance that we even ourselves don't know about the deeds that we need to do about how we need to do an amal if i am doing salah how imagine reciting surah fatiha or speaking in the same speed with somebody else just like we speak surah fatiha in our salah it needs to be slow properly thinking about the meaning imagining ourselves right before the side of allah subhanahu wa taala right before a malik who has power over all things right before a malik who has everything in his hands who can solve our problems impossible possible or even that is our in our our thoughts for allah subhanahu wa taala nothing is impossible nothing is possible allah subhanahu wa taala can do everything these things can, are only in our mind 
So one of the things is that we haven't realized. People sometimes mention about this, that can I do, it's difficult for me to do, you know, the voodoo at a workplace. Can I do tayammum? My dear brothers, you are not realizing, you are ignorant, you are mentioning, you know, Budu and Tayamum, you are using these words, you know, but you haven't realized the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that these are some of the things, these fact, this Islamic jurisprudence, these are laws determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, some relaxations have been given to us by Sharia, we take account of those relaxations, but wherever it is important to follow deen, we are looking for some, some pathways in between. My dear brothers, this is not the right way. We need to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful and he has determined this deen for us. Similarly, there are another thing is the weakness of faith, weakness of this yaqeen, weakness of tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, weakness of the iman that we do not realize about the punishments that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, weakness that we haven't realized about the thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us in this world and in Jannah when we follow the path of deen. And similarly, we are sometimes just too lazy to follow the deen. Sometimes we are just not wanting to follow the deen. So my dear brothers, we need to work upon this root cause. Many people you can find, it's easier for them to scroll internet for 15, 20 minutes, 2 hours, 3 hours. But reading Quran for 20 minutes is difficult for them. So this laziness needs to be removed. This time management is important part. It's an integral part of a Muslim life. Similarly, there are some long hopes. People sometimes think that they have too much time, they have too little amal, they have long desires. And then this makes them this wishful thinking that they have long time, they, they do not repent, they do not come to close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, we will see it on old times. My dear brothers, many parents have seen the janaza of their children. Many children have seen the janaza of the parents. Nobody can guarantee when I will go or when you will go. We came in this world with expiry date. That expiry date is unknown. So we need to make the right decisions and other things which is a hindrance in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is something illicit, something haram. Maybe it could be haram earning, maybe it could be haram telling, maybe it could be ghiba, maybe it could be the, uh, the haram lukma or maybe it could be the unlawful things that we indulge in. These are all the hindrances in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us pious. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the sweetness of iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among, among those who have the sweetness of iman.